yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, what up? What's going on? Hey. You already know what it is. It's Friday, it's 10 p.m. It's Friday. Do you it's know Friday. where your children are? We know where y'all at. Y'all rock with us. I'm your host, Main Manifest. To my right, I have... The euphoric endorphin releaser, Pookie Long Johns. To my left, I have... Tiffany Monique. And normally to my left, we have uh, Sharia, Rhea Washington, Rhea 605. But we got an unfortunate situation. We'll get into it like that. But we right here. We are the scheme team. Let's toast our glass. Ooh, I almost to- tumbled it over. Man, See, we are all the thing. We go up. Right. Salute. Eye contact. That's right. Eye contact. Yes. We here. Episode 12, y'all, the scheme team. Y'all see us right there on the bottom. Follow us on IG, scheme underscore podcast, on YouTube, scheme dot podcast. Um, kind of mellow tonight. Uh, we have our sister, Rhea. Who had an unfortunate um, circumstances, man? That uh, her son passed away. So our thoughts and prayers go out to Rhea. Um, I know you're here, man. It just shows you how life is is, is so short and precious. Uh, we love you. Um, we here. We here for you. So we family, and that's why she's not here this week. But uh, yes, yeah, we we got that news, and um, yeah, God bless. Be strong. Make sure y'all Blessings say a prayer for. Yeah, y'all say a prayer for Rhea, man. Um, you, you probably see her stat if y'all follow her on social media you'll see it and you know so it's always tough i mean that's like they say a, a child a parent should never bury their their child and uh we can only just imagine what she's going through but well, you know we're gonna keep pressing forward so we all back here man everybody else um you know had tough weeks and nothing that compares to that but we try to do what we do and make that transition right into it you know what we do so we start with our sports DZ back in here. What up, DZ? DZ off vacation. You got flowed out. He's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he got back. Where, where did you go? You don't want to share out Shy Town. What up? What up, Shy Town? Yep. Check it out. So it's been so much going on, man. Um, the NBA free agency, man. Heating uh, up. It's heating up. A lot of living teams. You know, we we left on um, Friday of last week, of course, and so the our open has happened on Sunday, so we ain't get to talk about it. So you know, it's been discussed. We'll be giving you our angles, but. The Brooklyn Nets got KD. That's right. And Kawhi. What y'all think about that when y'all saw that come through? Kyrie. Kyrie. Yeah, sorry. I said Kawhi. See, I'm a Lakers fan. I'm still thinking about Kawhi. He still got his weight in two. They got to wait for that story. ankle to heal about a year, right? So yeah, it's not yeah. going to be next season. It's going to be the two seasons, right? Well, yeah, he'll be out, he'll out a year. They have him. No, no, no. He's he's there, but he's going to be rehabbing this year, so he won't play. He'll play the 2020, I mean 2020, 2021 season. But uh, everybody thought they were going. He was going to go to the Knicks. And he, yeah, I'm like, I kind of figured he would go to the Nets. I mean, I feel like the Nets have been. I don't know. The Knicks haven't been doing well. Yeah, the you Nets know what I'm saying? So too. Nets getting more? more popular, and um, more popular. I feel like whenever he does, you know, get himself together, him and Kyrie are going to be a dangerous combination for the Brooklyn Nets. You uh now nah, you said you go for the home team so who you go do you go for Knicks and that don't try to jump on no another. because yeah, you. <laughs> no you it's are, a lot of y'all heard it's me it's a lot of Knicks fans y'all heard me yeah, y'all heard, heard me a couple of episodes ago I said if I'm gonna go with anybody it's gonna be, I said I might as well go with Brooklyn because they were still oh, they were still in the running they, they, they were still in the running <laughs> but I don't um you know no offense New York I, but I don't I don't I don't rock with y'all basketball teams all that it's much a lot of people sorry don't rock with the Knicks it's a lot of people that's you know and Nick's heartbreak. Y'all see Stephen A. He said, "Oh, all about the crap." It's a lot of torn. You go out, your 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 heart goes out to the Knicks fans, man. They've been getting there. Oh man, did you see? um, First they thought they was getting Zion. Then they thought, man, what what? Um, did you see um Spike Lee or his post? What he put? Spike nah, he had he was he was talking about it. He was like, oh man, you know, because yeah, you know he's a well, diehard Knicks fan. Might as well get Spike Lee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Put him at point. Well. <laughs> exactly. He, he gonna make it happen. He, he got all the heart. He got <laughs> all the heart. Come down, push it in. <laughs> yeah, that's like man, it's unfortunate, man. So we're gonna see though. But they said that really had had KD been healthy, they both probably would have gone to the Knicks. Because KD wanted to go to the Knicks, and he had more pull. But since, you know, Kyrie grew up season ticket holder Nets when he was in Jersey and his father took him to the Nets game, he always wanted to play for the Nets. So Kyrie had more pull to say, let's do Brooklyn, you know what I mean, this year. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, but did they have to make that decision together? Well, yeah, they were packaged. They were, they, they decided at the beginning of the year, oh, uh, reports okay. are saying that they said they were going to play together in whatever city it was. So it was just a matter if it was, you know, the Nets – 
the Knicks, or I think even one of the LA teams, the Clippers were in the running. Oh, but, okay. Yeah, they wanted to play together, and uh, we're going to see how it goes. So next year, it's going to be Kyrie by itself. You know, Brooklyn does have a good foundation. And, yeah, um, they've been doing well. Yeah, we're gonna, it's, at, it's le- gonna at least they up. made it, you know, they, they made it pretty far in the playoffs. Right. They did. Well, they had a, yeah. But now, we, so that leaves only one potential looming free agent, and that's that boy, the glove, Mr. Kawhi himself, man. He he making everybody wait. It's like he got he got three chicks lined up for the prom. Ain't telling nobody who he taking. And he just they just waiting. Is it me? He Is knows. It, yeah, it's like come on, man. But he's he's earned the right to take his time. There's no rush. Uh, I, we we believe he's gonna be in that purple and gold. I mean, that's what consistent. State. They gotta be like for money, right? Is it you? What is his? What is his decision gonna be on? Like, is it gonna be on money? So there are a lot of factors. No, there are a lot of factors. So number one, Toronto because he's already with Toronto can offer him the max. They can offer him more than any other team, right? So they can offer him two twenty or the one ninety. I think it was reported max, max deal. Okay. So when free agency comes, certain teams can offer more. The team that they play with offer can offer them more than they can get on the market. How? Here's the kicker though. That 190 bro, is in Canadian. Ah. <laughs> so you got to deal. Like a Dang. lot of players don't like, right, dealing with the Canadian conversion. Actually, I think their dollar might be over ours, so it might be more money. Yeah, but you is. fly, <laughs> going back from customs and flying back and forth to see your family, all, that's a whole lot. He got to go to Buffalo. I mean, to he eat can have American that global bacon. entry and, right. and get in and out of this. I mean, it's just Canada. It's not like as if he's. He's already a legendary, so no matter what he does, like everybody says, he good. He eating for the rest of his life for free, drinking for the rest of his life in, in Toronto anyway. But. It's not America compared to that. Then the the, the final kickers, he's from L.A. Oh. So that's his hometown. To go back home, oh, play for your hometown team. Grew up as a Lakers fan. Boom, boom, he wanted to play for the Lakers last year. Mm. You know, when, man, everybody want to play for the Lakers, right. man. Yeah, right. And everybody so, want to play for the Lakers. But, right, but the Spurs didn't want to send him west because Popovich, of course. So they tried to do him dirty, send him to Toronto. He came up, got a ring, right? Now, now it's like, bro. So he, Clippers... Or the, like, they said the Clippers out of it, but the Lakers play for your hometown team, continue the legacy, boom, 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 Showtime Hollywood. I would have to do that, you know. But they said that did y'all hear this report? Drake came back, James, sat down OVO, offered him a percentage of the label. What? Offer him, so look, in addition to the deal, this on, that, so this is why I gotta think about it. You know, what? Drake is a minority uh, owner to uh This is to, what I can uh, do uh, for you. Raptors. Raptors yeah. Shout out to Drizzy, and he's doing his thing, sports marketing. So look. He heard that they, they heard LA about to pry him apart. Drake came to the table like, yo, look, you could be an ownership moment. Now think about that. Y'all know when they, my, that's big. <laughs> Michael Jordan had the uh, Beatles recordings. Like, so imagine if he said, yo, I give you a percentage of legacy recording. Now you're getting money outside of basketball, basketball, 190 mil, already a champion. They're going to build a statue I'm for I'm you. I'm 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 that's how the or go home. So that's what he went, man. You got to. What would y'all take? What would y'all do? Like, who, what you, I would stay in Toronto. With the Toronto, oh, yo, I, yep. straight like that. Yeah. I like oh, it. I like Toronto. I would stay I would, in Toronto. I would be a citizen. I would. I, would, I mean, we always. I would talk be a about dual citizen. Canadian citizens. We right there anyway, but right. Know. And so then you got that whole. That, I so once I heard that, once I heard rather. that report, I was like, ooh, that's like a get different, out of America. That's a different yeah, that's dynamic. a whole nother level. But here's the thing. So look, forty two the games. Okay, you know they go through that customs. Every time you go to Milwaukee, you know, you're going through customs. and it, Like they said, the players get tired of that. And that's what happened with Vince Carter. Yeah. You know, he was with the Raptors early. They get tired of going through customs just to go see your mom and all that back and forth. You going from country to country is not, you know, I mean, yeah. we travel. We, we, we from I, Buffalo, so we up there. We know it. But I mean, every, maybe he could bring yeah. his family to Toronto or, you know, Canada. It still ain't the U.S. It still ain't the U.S. though, you know, so. Guess. We'll see, man. Like, and then again, when you a Cali person, that West Coast vibe, and that chill. Oh, true. He want to be outside, true. like his family, like that's true. And they got everybody, a whole vibe yeah, over there. He'd be set up to basically take the mantle after LeBron leaves. LeBron gonna do like two, three years. Then it's like it's all you. That's a definite championship. Yeah, it's like a, Why, they try, that's, like that's like an all star team, man. That's like all star so team. What? They let they let Golden State have it. They let Golden State have an all star team. That's true. What about it? But they everybody doing it now. It's two. They going Brooklyn got Brooklyn Nets got two. They need another to make three. Right. Well, they got the uh, DeAndre. He, you know, he part of the big three, but yeah, still. Him, so we just talking about that too. That ties into our second sports topic. Guy, what do y'all, do y'all think the NBA now as it is today with free agency and all that is better than the old school NBA? Like remember back in the day, the Celtics they had Larry Bird. Boom. If you was trash, you was trash. Or you know, mm-hmm. the Pistons, the Bulls. It took longer for teams to get good because it wasn't like you had your players, you know, Joe Dumars and all that, Pippen and Jordan and the Bulls. Or do y'all like the changing of the teams? The, you know, I'll be here for a year. I'm going to go here. 
Which I think is better. See, it's like it's like the franchises be on top for four or five years, like the Patriots. I don't like it like that. I don't like oh, the dynasties. dominating dynasties. You know, you're like, like the like Warri- Warriors. Uh, now it's the Warriors. Got you know they hard to. Well, hold on, they ain't uh-huh. gonna win though, but. But, no, but they're, they're hard to beat, though. But yeah. they're hard to beat. They've been yeah. in the finals the last top. five years. They yeah. keep on doing it. So it's yeah. like, come on, man. We need more than one team or two teams to compete. So you like parity. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, I kind of like up. the old school way, too. I feel like, like how you said, you know, L.A. will have like an all-star team. It's kind of like you, right. you, I mean, I understand you should Kobe be able Shaq. to go where you want to go. But I feel like you should be able to stay on a team for a certain amount of time yeah. before you do that. Um, I'm kind of mixed because I, I like... You know, I've always it, well. It's different. So in a, in a football, of course, we see parity a lot more. You know, teams can go from you know the bottom to first. But in basketball as well, the players drive the league. I kind of like it that the players take their destiny in their hands. And if you're stuck in a city, you know what I mean. You don't want to play in Milwaukee or you know. No, no disrespect to them cities, but yeah, guys but when they're playing you're different team, markets. You're a team. You got to be a team player. I understand right. that your team may not be like the the all star team, or may may not be the front front runner, or whatever. But you on a team. You are there to help make your team better. Like right. stick with it. So here's what happens. That that's true. But I the mean, players get the players have to take their futures and their contracts and all that into their own hands. If you're not performing, a team will cut you. So some players think before yeah, I let this yeah. team cut me. I'm going to go to where I want to go. I want to get traded. I want, now, first of all, you have to be good to do it. Because if you just ask, they ain't going to trade you or take in, you know, heed to your demands. But if you can control your own destiny and say, I want to go to Miami before y'all tra- tra- you know, trade me to Portland, I, I, I have the right to do that. It's my talent. Okay. It's my family. It's where I want to live, right? So, But if you're that good, then you know they're not going to want to do that. Your team is not going to really want to let you go. Right, but sometimes they have to. They force this. Like Ka- Kawhi forced his way out of, out of Sac- I mean, San Antonio. They wasn't doing it right. They thought they was doing him dirty. I'm going to send you over here. He went and came up, got a championship. Okay. So, you know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, Kyrie did it with Boston. Boston. Yeah, wanted to get out of Cle- Wanted to get out. He said, he, out before yeah. I get stuck in Cleveland by myself, no LeBron, send me over here. Get traded, you know. So I thought Kyrie didn't like playing with LeBron. That's what they said, but he he basically wanted his own team. That's what they okay. were saying. You know? See, be under that's him. what I'm saying. Like you being you. Well, I'm not going. You know, I don't want to throw salt on him, but I'm like, but you being salty, like LeBron well, he, is the man. He had to learn. You he, know, like stay where you at. He had be to a learn team what player. it is. He had to learn. He had to learn what was better. You know, for for uh, the whole situation. And I think he grew up. Like they said, he came back and apologized to LeBron. Said, you know, I didn't know what it was. He saw the difficulty in running his team because he was the vet. Yeah, he was the vet (laughs) with the uh, with the young boys, Boston. So it came different. I I actually just excuse me. I was talking to my uh, one of my boys about this. I think the NBA is better now. He a Jordan head, and I'm like Jordan. Okay, they had hand checking. What I don't like is the NBA was more tougher with the hand checking, physicality, all that. Like it was harder to score, but the competition level. Jordan was playing against Craig Elo, Mark Price. You know what I mean? Like boys who wasn't athletic. Putting the, now a guy you got. Look at the Western Conference. You got point guards. You got Dame Dollar, Russell Westbrook. You know all these guys. The competition is more fierce. So it's a lot of better play. It's a lot more better players than just. One person nice versus, you know, yeah. no name wrestler type dudes, and so the league is, and that's what the players change. It's the team evolved, cultivates. yeah. Right, it has players over here, players over here, so everybody's good, you know. Yeah. Anybody can come out of the east. Right, right, and it, yeah, anybody get aware of that? Yep, and, and that's what's crazy. Yeah. Now, all anybody can come out of the east. Nobody saw Toronto coming, Philly. Yep. Nobody saw Toronto or Philly coming up. Now everybody see the East is wide open. It could be Brooklyn. What you mean college ball ain't gonna be no more? Well, college is gonna be you know they going more to the pro route. Oh, you mean like fresh out of high school they going to pro? Yeah, Levar Ball, right? Yeah, Levar. Yeah. yeah. They hiring Le- Levar Ball, and you see that now. So Sebastian, not Sebastian Chanford. What's the other point guy out of New York? Ah, it's gonna come to me. Went to the Philly. Brandon Jennings. Brandon Jennings said uh, to real quick. Instead of going to college, I go overseas at oh, 16, okay. 17. Because you could go professional at 16 yeah, years old overseas. overseas. And then come back college, and you're just an amateur athlete, right? Ain't getting paid tuition, scholarship. So a lot of players you are waking up to say, I don't want to go play for this university for two years and not get paid. I'd rather go over to Italy, develop my game, get paid millions, come back home. 
that's what a lot of we up. spoke about that too yeah. about um college i mean college players getting paid because that's why it's like you know i have the potential to injure myself so why should i do that if i'm not getting paid right i can go just you know i could just go straight pro yeah. that's what Le- so that's what levar ball did with his sons and we covered that in another yeah. episode yeah we did yeah, yeah so we, we're gonna see how memphis gonna be good too y'all this year memphis putting together a little high flying fun team so we'll see um also in sports you got training camps Training camps open about three weeks. I yeah. know it's hot. I'm, I'm ready for some football, some hitting. Right. So we need some more sports Come on, coming. Giants. Because uh-huh. a big three on now, you know. <laughs> y'all about to draft a quarterback. Right. The Giants. Uh-uh. Don't I y'all need, need to draft a quarterback? Uh uh-huh. uh. You hear about you hear about his uh rating on Madden? What is it? What was it? It was it was lower than our our third string. Yeah. I don't know. It was anything lower about than our Madden, third y'all first round draft pick <laughs> was lower lower than our third string uh quarterback. They said they was gonna put him at tight end. His rating that's, was that's like tough, fifty three. That's terrible. <laughs> that's who tough. Gonna, who gonna cry for him? <laughs> who gonna cry? They better hope Eli. Eli, come on. Come on, give him one more arm. One more year with that arm. I don't know, Eli. You don't think about Eli? What if he I, turned into I've been, Brady? listen, and, and you know, my friends that are Giants fans, they like, leave Eli alone, you know, whatever, whatever. I'm like, no, it is his fault, okay? <laughs> we need to do better. They said them Jets coming out of there, He boy. is the team the captain. Jets. He is Jets. the quarterback. Let me on, Bell. What up, Aaron? We see you. Strength Y'all coach. against us. Uh, good luck, but not against us. We got to see, yeah, Sam Donald, what, he, what they going to do. They, uh, they they putting together a squad over too? there. Sam Donald. Yeah, that's their quarterback they drafted. No, I thought you meant uh, the Donald. The oh, no, nah, Aaron player. Donald. Yeah, you think of Donald, not him. So, you know, my Bucks, we're going to see what we do. The Bills at Oliver. Yeah, yeah so we're we going to see that. That's that's about two or three weeks away. So by the time we, you know, get that get that going. But listen, but um, tying into the old school and everything, we was talking about let's uh go to knowledge. Um, y'all said y'all like. And I'll be jumping back back to the NBA. It's always a person who kind of hate on the new school. Barkley been that guy from the old school. Like he said, Jordan averaged fifty if he played these days. Like it's always somebody trying to keep the no, the old I, school no, alive, I right? didn't say that. He, <laughs> what I said was Charles, Charles, Charles. <laughs> but uh, but uh, it's funny how it's one. But you you got it like an old head that's always talking about back in my day. You know, you know, like Dennis Rodman. Who y'all who y'all think was the best? overall team like we just saw golden state run y'all know the bulls before mike was suspended in the 90s had it early celtics the bad boys detroit if you just look at a team irregardless of the era just the team who kind of really dominated the era who would y'all say is like the number one who was ranking dynasties like bulls won then golden state or i don't want to say tell me who y'all think i'm the lakers the bulls the bulls i would say bulls then 96 bulls I mean, I mean, I don't like, remember which year now. Jordan don't don't quote me on Lakers? that. I'm just saying Lakers, the Bulls because like, I was a Bulls fan. Yeah. Kareem, in the Kareem and them, yeah. Early '90s, we had a three peat. Right. Boston, them boys. Boston, them boys won eleven. Boston, them boys won eleven though. <laughs> they might have something to say, but why you say the Bulls, Tiffany? Because Jordan. Oh, because Jordan. <laughs> See, they just said because Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, man. <laughs> Back back. Don't have me. You know I can't quote stats now. Don't do that. No, we, but, I mean, but I feel you. Three but they had Jordan three, was two, the man. Two three peats. Houston came in and then went. If they didn't send him away for that gambling or whatever suspension, he probably would have strung some more together. And he took a lot of guys Kai's rings. But it wasn't again back to the debate. It wasn't a lot of good teams that was on his level. But but yeah, I got I got to give it to the Lakers too. You got to understand it was whatever era, early nineties, early Magic. Then we had the Kobe, Shaq oh, yeah, run. Yeah, yeah. Then That's after true. Shaq, That's Kobe true. got some, come on, That's man, true. Lakers. So That's true. We gotta I get, need that. Yeah, we got to get we gotta get it back to. Lakers had a long run. Yeah. yeah they had they had it going. and now, we, yeah. yeah. It's going to be different. But it's funny how we see now just like the NBA, you know, tying with the music, the culture, the fashion. You know, cats know, like now with the Instagram, everybody know with the outfits. You had these boys, you had these boys going uh Putting their outfits on the blast on the social media, coming through with the knickerbockers and the short shorts and uh, D Wade, right. those the thigh bar- shorts. What y'all think about that? Is some of it too much, like the fashion and the. Hey man, they dressing, they dressing like it's 2038. 2038. They the doing, futuristic. they on some outcast type shit. Now. This kind of turning the tie in the end with hearing. We in the interference, look, interference. And I can't talk. We in entertainment these. What do you think about the fashion tip? They doing too much, or some of the stuff be they be having the man purses and the euro looking. Show, like, 
Some of that is too much, don't you think? She's smiling. She, <laughs> she her D Wade well, got it, I so mean, she can't. It's, it's, she it's can't not no. it's not my style, but I feel like you know these players. They were you know it's just like with anything. Basketball players are kind of put in a box, but I mean, if they have other interests and they want to be fly and they want to rap and they want to act like that's their business, let them have it. Do you like the show your draw style? I do not like the show your draw styles. Keep your pants. <laughs> do you up, like the bro. show your draw shorts? The shorts that used to be up here with the. Uh, the NBA back in the NBA. <laughs> I don't know. I like nice I like shorts. I like the new school shorts, the like basketball the shorts. shorts. Keep shorts. the shorts to your knees. I'm just saying, you see some of that upper thigh hair. Meat? So thigh I, I'm veins. Good. I'm good on the thigh hair. Taco yeah. meat. I'm good. <laughs> they be hooping in the uh, shorts. Somebody had those on the other day. We was balling. The, uh, oh goodness. The yeah, gold hair. Hey, dunking he on was people. comfortable. Let the man live. But that's not my style. Nah. Yeah. I don't know, but it's funny. I think I think uh, Allen Iverson was a big cultural uh carrier he moved the black the braids the tats like cats wasn't in the league like that and we sometimes forget now it's all now everybody tatted up everybody got their braids the cornrows tattoos you see plj everywhere. got his got his uh <laughs> my mama gave me my grandmama <laughs> gave me these braids yeah got his own uh, he be switching it up they nice nice looking brother Make me want to get my hair you. back. Thank you know, you. I used to hoop. I used to have my Irisons. Yeah, man. Uh, braided on yeah, he did. Had our braiders. He had jerry curls, too. I ain't never had a jerry They curl. was a texturizer. You had a jerry you curl. You had a we texturizer. Need, we need proof. I need to see these PLJ pictures. got a jerry curl. You know, you had it. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got a picture. I need receipts, you, PLJ. Hold, in your jersey, he holding the ball with a texturizer kid in his head. <laughs> I never, listen, I never had a jerry curl. <laughs> What is that? What was that LB It wasn't a jerry curl, but was that shit you had up in your head? What you got? That I got, in, I got Indian in my family. Oh, okay, okay. This girl Everybody told me she wanted to have my have, have my baby because my hair is that is, is chicks doing that? We kind of jump in, but let's discuss this. Do chicks still let's go for guys because they have a grade of hair? Uh, grade of hair, certain eyes, light for skin, real? height. Yeah, like they would try to have a baby with that person. Yeah, it's a lot of females that will do that. Yeah, they're like, Dang. oh, he got light eyes. Oh, he tall. Last name yes. nutting it. Yes, yes. Last name what? Last name nutting it. <laughs> nothing it. Ain't got nothing on it. But, Why? Uh, Why? <laughs> but check it out. But yeah, I mean, you know, females do that, you know. They do? I mean, I don't, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of females that like certain things. I mean, you like what you like. Yeah, can't help what you like, right? Yeah. She said, I like that. <laughs> check it out, y'all. We got something special for y'all this week, so we're going to take a quick break. Y'all rock with us. Look, oh, we ain't even love until we shut it out. Then we see we... We all off. Uh, y'all listen to the Scheme Podcast. Check thank it out. Thank y'all for tuning Again, in. Thank y'all. This is uh, thank you. wherever you stream you. your spycat with podcast. I'm tongue twisted today, y'all. I don't know. I gotta get some it's, rest. But wherever week. you listen to your podcast, Podbeam, Deezer, Stitcher, uh, TuneIn Radio, uh, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Play. Can't forget about Spotify and iHeart. Everybody, we know it. we rock with y'all. We see y'all. Check us out. Um, and thank if y'all you. got, if y'all are on a platform. That doesn't have a scheme podcast, and y'all want to get it. Let us know. Hit us up, scheme podcast at gmail. We're gonna get that rectified for y'all. We're gonna take a quick break. Um, should we open the phone lines? And, uh, oh, wait, no, we're gonna, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna take a quick break. We got something for y'all. We come right back. We'll be right back after this. Let's rock out these. <laughs>
Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Y'all listen to the Scheme Podcast, wherever you listen to it at. Uh, watching us on YouTube, Facebook Live, I told y'all we had something special for you guys. And without further delay, we would like to int- introduce you guys to the comedic stylings of Pookie Long Johns. Put your hands together, Pookie Long Johns. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. How y'all doing tonight? Woo! Yes, I see you all. I see you all already. How y'all doing? We in D.C. with the Scheme team. Because we the scheme team, just like the dream team. But, uh, yeah, man, we in D.C., man. I love D.C. You get to see a lot of interesting things out here, man. Uh, Just the other day I was walking, you know, I seen a a white man wearing a dashiki. You know, he was in a hood just walking around. A group of dudes just surrounded him like he was wearing an army uniform. Like, hey, brother, man, where, where you get that from, man? You know how many uh, of our soldiers uh, have lost their lives in uh, dashikis, man? You know, he's like, I just got it from uh, over there down on the street in Marlboro. <laughs> it's sad, man. But uh, it's really good out here. I'm, I'm having a good time, man. Shout out to all the thugs out there. The thugs out there uh, wearing shape-ups. Yeah. Shout out to y'all, man, because y'all getting in fights and shooting and y'all wearing shape-ups. It was uh they had a surveillance and the dude had a gun and he was just on had shape ups like this and shit rocking on his heels and shit threatening people. Man, shout out to the uh, dads that got locked up on Father's Day too, man. My homeboy got locked up on Father's Day. His dad, man, he's still in jail right now, man. On Fourth of July, you know, told me he's looking at the uh, fireworks in the cell and shit. Baby mom called the cops on his ass. She said, "Yeah, come on over, come see little Junior." Yeah, come on. As soon as he got over there, stayed 10 minutes, cops pulled up and arrested his ass. Messed up, man. Sad about things that happen like that, man. Hope y'all feeling good out there. Hope y'all feeling good. Y'all, y'all good? My grandma was supposed to come out and see me, you know. I texted her to come out, and uh, she texted me back right quick, not coming. I said, damn, grandma, you should have came out. <sighs> Sad, man. I rode the bus to work and shit. I rode the bus to work and fell asleep on shit. I fell asleep on the bus. Before I went to sleep, I seen five people, you know, and I woke up and, and nobody was on the bus. And the bus driver was gone and shit. Lights was off. What the hell is this? To climb out that motherfucker. But, man, the Golden Girls coming on. I got to wrap this shit up. I got to hurry up. Watch the Golden Girls. Just D.C., man. D.C. streets out here. Every 7-Eleven you go to, you're going to see a, a foreigner, you know? Hello, welcome to 7-Eleven, to the 13. And they, they, they get disrespectful, too. They say a black phrase to you, you know? Don't stop no shit, won't be no shit. I said, how you know about that? He know about that. <laughs> but uh, it's crazy, man. Cops crazy too. The cops, the, the Mexicans is the new black people too, cause the the Mexicans getting beat like the black people getting beat, you know? They getting oranges thrown at them and shit. Get the fuck out of here. It's sad, man. Trump. Trump don't give a damn. People just like to watch your ass too. People just like to just, be just <laughs> see what you doing and shit. And shout out, uh, nah, this ain't a shout out, but I, how many people married or are y'all in a relationship? Because it's hard, you know. It's hard when you ain't getting none, you know, because your girl want to put you on punishment from the booty. She said, nah, you ain't getting none for three weeks. You be sitting there with a boner. She be on Facebook. You be like, you need to book your face on these nuts. He playing. She on Facebook and shit, ignoring your ass. Three weeks, you come in, she just ignoring your ass. You had to go to church with a boner, clapping the happy days. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus come. 
sad. And, 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 and I used to go to church, but I don't go to church no more. I stopped going to church when I went to the weed man house and I seen my pastor leaving and shit. That's when I, that's when I stopped going. You know, he was in, hey, all right, brother. I said, Pastor Blunt, is that you? Pastor Blunt? No, that's his name, Pastor Blunt. Yes, sir. Next Sunday, I give a nickel bag. Don't tell nobody. Yes, sir. I said, oh, no, nah, give me three of them shits. He said, okay, no problem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Pastor Blunt. Be smoking Newports right at, uh, he be smoking Newports before church start. Smoking Newports before church starts. So yeah, so we got five people in here. Come here. <laughs> Pastor Blunt. Uh, yes, sir. But uh hope y'all enjoying the scheme team. And uh keep on rocking with us. We got a lot more to come because uh my grandma watching. Be the motherfuckers like a punching bag When I walk up in the club and these boys wanna look Hang wetter than a tub and the time rolling up You can check all of my funds and you know I'm coming up Cause I made a couple fuck a hundred grand in a month And I got the rubber bands that'll snap right back And I got the upper hand cause I came right back Like I never ever left cause I'm sick like that Kelly swag with a pistol grip pump on my lap Oh, hola, hola, bitch, can't pass up Break out the Patron and Barca Hola, hola, bitch, can't pass up Break out the Patron and Barca Hola, hola, bitch, can't pass up Break out the Patron and Barca Patron and Barca Bitch, can't pass up Break out the Patron and That was great, PLJ. There we go. Hey, Grandma, back. yep. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Welcome back, y'all. We told y'all we had something Woo. real quick. Yeah, yes sir, yes sir, yes yeah. sir. Had to do that because my I got to get back home and put it on number thir- uh, channel thirty nine because my grandma wanted to watch Golden Girls. Yeah, so we just <laughs> real quick, y'all. And we and you know we keep it moving. Just switch it up for y'all. I get something a little something different. So again, shout out to Ria, Scheme Queen Ria. Yeah. We see yeah, you. Rhea, we, we love, love you, you, baby. We see you. Hey boo. Peace and blessings. All of that, um, and, and we keeping it moving. So like, we was on inter- uh, entertainment and appearance. We was talking about the fashion. Tiffany was saying she likes when guys have the um, shorts that. <laughs> you know up. you like. Oh, the, th- yeah, she said <laughs> the taco she, meat the 19, hairs. The nineteen eighty shorts. Oh, yeah, she that turns those. me on. She liked those. <laughs> so make sure y'all get a pair. Turtle bottoms. Thigh highs. Make sure y'all get a pair of that. <laughs> um, no, uh, let's 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 take it a minute. I, I, I heard an interesting. I heard an interesting um, statement. We're manhood, and uh, cause of course, y'all guys know we're we're uh, we're a media platform, and we uh, we discuss things, we talk about topics, we give our opinion. But somebody said something like to the point where uh, you got to be careful up there when you're up there talking about people. And I was like, and I and I kind of I thought about that. I'm like, you know, we really don't talk about people. Here? Well, yeah, well, I won't get, get into details, but the the I'll just say certain things trigger, and I thought this would be a great discussion. Because there are certain platforms of people who just d- discuss what's going on you know, and, and literally talk about people. Yeah. Um, I think there's a difference, though. But here's my whole thing. I want to toss this up and see how y'all feel. I think there's a difference when you're like reporting, when you're discussing a subject versus you're just talking about people. Like you're just gossiping or like, you know, there's certain shows and stuff where they just want to spill the tea or make the news and give their opinion. So I think there's a difference in that. And... Honestly, I think also when you're when you're talented, you have your own stuff as well. Like we have our own music, have our own comedy. You just seen POJ's comedy. We do our own stuff, so we can like yeah. we don't have to do this. Yeah. Let's be real. Like we, you know, we can do that. But when you diversify, when you get people different perspectives, there's something to, to be said about that. And I wanted to talk about that because there are certain people who just like are the media or you know are just covering people and they don't really you know. Rapper, do not just say you only have to rap or do music or produce or comedy or act or do anything like that. But you know what I'm saying? That's I think those people who just cover stuff, those will be what you would say, literally sit up and talk about people. But I'm not on no gossip or I'm not on that. But what what do y'all think about that? Do y'all think we first of all, do y'all think we are talking about people? 
No, I think we're giving our views upon certain topics. Right, right. I and I would agree to that. Tiffany, what about you? You think I think sometimes we have poked fun or, you know, said certain things, but I don't think that that's a regular occurrence. I think that we are primarily a journalistic type podcast. We talk yeah. about what's really, you know, what's going on in what's sports. What's happening? What? And, you know, mm-hmm. issues that, you know, news that we see come, going on and we give our opinion about that. I think that it, there's more of a journalistic yeah. Ba- like versus boundary there you versus know what I mean? ooh did y'all see what happened and all that that's more like versus, gossip bo- yeah, yeah like some people gossip. talking about right. love and hip hop and, and that's and again to me and I think I think y'all both said we are on the same page I think that is more talking and again not judging nobody if that's how you get your back some people just ooh did y'all see last week the breakup and not like we're not we're not with you know we don't do that that's just that's not what you get in here you know you we 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 giving you something different but um. I just want to make sure, look, I'm all about checks and balances. And, I, and then, honestly, with that being said, sometimes some people don't might not agree with our opinion or our viewpoints. Right. But I think when you say your viewpoint, you can stand on it. People will respect you for saying, okay, I see where he's staying. I know where, you know, May comes and all that. And that's what I've always been about. Like, you know, I say that. So, but I don't talk about people, man. I really don't, you know, care enough about certain people. Now, if there's a topic which someone is on, I'll give my view on it. So, I'll say your name. Like, if a person caught 100 yards and the touchdown you gotta say boom you know mike evans caught 100 yards you know on the bills but <laughs> no i'm just playing but uh, yeah, yeah right. you but you gotta say that that's talking about that's not talking about you know mike i guess it is technically talking about mike evans but y'all know what i'm saying it's not talking about them but um i mean i know that that ayesha curry you know conversation we got pretty heated we talked about yeah a lot so of different things. but you know an opinion is an opinion well we talking like about ayesha curry though yeah kind of you know like you know, kind of, yeah. I feel like, I feel like, well, we I feel like, yeah, we gave, we gave our view from a man point, stand of view from his podcast. This is a manhood that was podcast. A podcast. This is a sports podcast. Go back and check it. Episode five, she's referring to y'all. Um, excuse me. But, but anyway, what we got to do is we gave our opinion on that topic in general. So we discussed it from a lot of different angles that you're not going to see. And that's another thing. You're not going to see those angles discussed. So make sure y'all go and check that out. But, I don't believe like we were talking about like, but I seen some other people's take. Yeah, Aisha Curry, she's a you know, and coming at like that's talking about. It. You know what I'm saying? You you and me pee on that. Like we not. Yeah. Hey, you you do this, you did it, because we don't just. I think that's more like disparaging. You know, again, however you get it, I don't put nobody down. I don't have you no know, heaven or hell to put nobody in. It's no judgment zone. But we can call. out. I think there's also a difference be, between accountability, right? Holding people accountable versus you know, saying like like. We said we talked. We talked about uh, when Kodak Black, you know, sh- slid in the uh, oh yeah, yeah, Lauren Lauren's D- DMs. DMs. But yeah, that's from more of an accountable <laughs> standpoint. Like, yo, that's wrong. He did that live. You should be thing, able to say, yeah, yeah like if I, my opinion is that's wrong, that's not talking about. That's talking about that situation yeah. that happened. But I would say, yo, that's you know what I'm saying. So. I Everybody guess I guess the the re, I guess yeah. the you know especially when we're talking about celebrities or whatever. <clears throat> I think with people in general. You know, we just have to be mindful of what we say, and if we're not, we if we wouldn't say those things to the person in their face, in their face right? Then th- maybe we shouldn't discuss Absolutely. those things. And that's you know how I mean? always feel. Yeah, like anything I say, I would be willing. I, yeah, I won't I say it if I don't won't say it to your face, man. Like, and there's no disrespect to a code. Again, I like his music and all that, but that action we could code that, and a lot of people see, and that's where we kind of have to hold ourselves. We as a culture, as a people, like we gotta be the gatekeepers because sometimes people don't know. So it's incumbent upon us to be like, you know what? This is the way you do certain things low And some people don't care. You know, people are all different maturity levels and all that as well. But I believe that's part of the standard we have. And that's part of, you know, one of the reasons when I say I wanted to do this. So we could talk. It's people who sit at home and watch YouTube videos all day. We might teach. And I know we have because y'all, I get y'all comments. I get y'all texts. I get all the love. And again, thanks for all the love and support. you will be like, yo, keep doing your thing. I like your perspective. I like what you're saying. And so we touch on stuff that people may or may not see so that's what we're here for and again mm-hmm. you know that's what we want to say you want to get in there too what you want to say I, I lost my train of thought but I'm, I'm with you on that I think that you know as long as we are holding ourselves accountable and not going you know not going to disrespect for route I don't and, oh that's what I was going to say I was going to say like people are really sensitive these days that is you know what I'm saying? Thing. Like yes. you can't say but so much without somebody kind of twisting your words and turning it into something other than what you intended it to be. So you kind of have to be, I mean, it is up to us to be mindful of what we say, but it's also, you know, we have to be kind of um, aware of the fact that people are sensitive. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be able to, and people are like, um, 
you know, really sensitive about these celebrities that they don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's like they, they're super fans. That's you got super fans. Yeah. Like, for example, um, that remember that Beyonce thing? We, did we talk about that? What Beyonce happened? and Jay-Z, what, they were at a game, and um, oh, yeah, we did. Jay-Z was the talking to the, to the lady. Yeah. She was asking him if he wanted a drink, and the beehive went crazy. Like she asked, she asked across, right? Yeah, across Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce. I mean, just like anybody. If you were to right, if I were to talk across you to PLJ right quick, like you know, it's a little uncomfortable, but I'm not offended. You know, what I'm saying beehive went crazy. Like she was getting like she the wife owner, all right? types of threats and whatnot. I'm Ain't like, come on, owner? that's too she far. Was. She's the owner of yeah, of state. I think yeah. She was. But that's what they do, and like so. But she go she, too she far. didn't say that. She she leaned over and said, "Can I get you anything?" Stop it. <laughs> but listen, so okay, let's. It's so much to unpack on that because you're right. Um, first of all, I want to go back to your initial point. Like people are sensitive, like, and unfortunately for us, you know, we didn't grow up in a time that, you know, our age people we were not as. Again, I believe there's a difference between. When you hold somebody accountable, when you say, yo, you do this wrong. I'm Because I want to be held accountable. If I yeah, fuck up, absolutely. if I do certain things, if I misquote and misspeak, let me know. And I'll be the first to be like, you know what, damn, I misquote, I misspoke, you know. Um, let's correct it. Let's go back. And um, um, matter of fact, I did misquote on something. I said that's, that DeAndre, DeAndre, the boxer, forget his name, knocked dude out. His store was open in Brooklyn. I think it was open in his home in Alabama. I meant to come back and, 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 and correct that. But uh, that's part of it, man. And when you're speaking, man, and some stuff, you know, come out, it's wrong, but we can be held accountable. So to this point, I, I, I want people to know that there's nothing wrong with being held accountable, right? Certain, But this generation thinks that accountability is like you coming at them, or you a hater, or you, oh, no, you, no, man. I mean, it's like, you, there's, I mean, there's hate, and then there's like a, you having your opinion about something. You know what I'm saying? Like, But people a feel, a feel like if you don't agree with what they say, if you're you don't co-sign their bullshit, yeah. you hate them, right? And you're not, you don't have to be hating. I mean, just like we were talking about earlier about, you know, how the um, basketball players, like they changing up their style, they wearing man purses and whatnot. Like, that's not my particular style, but somebody could take that as hating. As, you know, if I say, oh, I don't like men that do stuff like that. Oh, it'll, you know, that's not my style. That's just how you like your men. You know what I'm saying? Right? Like, people could take that a certain we way. You like a masculine man, right? You know I do. Mm. They got, they got men you know thongs. Hey, man, thoughts. We don't want to go on that. But no, so real. So back to the beehive. Back to the beehive. <laughs> Check it out. No, listen. Y'all seen him, y'all, right? <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all heard her, right? Y'all heard what she said. Um, listen, no, the beehive go in on anybody. Beehive like the beehive, be crazy with and it's, it. We don't want no smoke for the beehive. I like, matter of fact, it's some joints in the beehive. Anyway, the uh, beehive. the beehive. Listen, the beehive. I got a stinger. Buzz um, me, baby. <laughs> That whole elevator with salon incident, like they oh was my at, God. Yeah, yeah, and then the shorty, I guess one of the shorties who had got too close to Jay Z at a party, remember that? I don't know if y'all remember that. Like they said, she walked up to Jay Z and was like, <laughs> "Yeah, all uh, that." They don't play with that. So, to your point, some people just sit and watch and be looking at the internet like this. What's gonna happen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go a thousand and miles a minute. So, I don't understand it. Like, how? Why are you so involved? And they lie on you too. Beyonce just passed gas. Yeah, and I, don't, I don't, that's, <laughs> that's true though. They that's lie on for you. Like, I, I did they not. create all types of like, <laughs> like yep, tabloid right face. Yep. stuff. I know. Yeah, all that. He lied on me. No, I, and I mean, again, that's where we are in this in this age, in this age of uh, just. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, he wild. He about to take another L. Like, don't take an L in the season finale. Super um, blew your ass still. No, uh, <laughs> he made me lose my train of thought. The um, the era. Oh yeah, we that's where we are in this era, man. Everybody is they call it keyboard warriors, thumb thugs, and all that. Like yeah, trolls, yeah, all the I, trolls. Man, it's listen. like it's like a career to be a troll these days. Retwatters. You like retweet, retweet the retweet. Um, we are not retwatting today. We are retwatting. We got to retwat. <laughs> everyday Everybody thing. love it. The retwat. I need me some retwat. That's when you want to hit again. Can hey, I get girl, a retwat? Listen, listen, if y'all been in Maine's program and hit have not game. checked in lately, <laughs> hit me up for some retwat. But uh, yes, yes, yes. we, um, that's a bad single. We, uh, <laughs> We like I said, I think we all same wrong same ages. We didn't grow up in this age uh, era, like nah. And we were just talking about that. Um, Ed Good Scheme team, how yo, it would be crazy if we had all this social media, Instagram. If you could be in high school and see the other girls, like man, what? Because you know we had joints. Well, well, first of all, Tech had the joints too. We all had the joints, but and I went to traditional. 
But shout out to all the schools in Buffalo. We could we knew the girls because we was on the scene. We was the athletes and the hoopers and all that. But if you could just go on your phone and see all the girls, look at Sarah at McKinley. Like it's kind of like right. I can't even fathom that because you know we grew up watching Jenny Jones and Ricky Lake. Ricky, Lake. and I think that made us more. <laughs> Personal. We know how to go up to people and talk and be like, hey, how you doing? You know, I like your blouse. Yeah. Like, Yo, Jenny Jones taught me everything I know. We could talk to people. I know people be in the party, like, texting people two feet away from them. Sitting at like, dinner, you having yeah. a one, one-on-one dinner, and you having no conversation, just in your phone. Right. That's Come these on, generation. Yo. These, you got to get, you got to fix it. We, we, we counting on these to lead the new, the new, the new movement. The young, the young generation, he laughed, but he know what we talk about, man. But even like, the babies, though, the first thing that parents do, they get a kid them them screens, them little tablet shits to play with. That's, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm Sit not against there. that. You gotta monitor and control it because you want your child to be up on a new technology. That's where it starts. You don't want your child to be on no, you know, still on a flip phone, flip phone. It's also a new generation, so you're too. Yeah, though, tablet, so all that. We ain't have all that. Back yeah. Then. But they got it now. I, my daughter can just slide through all I, that. So, you know, I miss not having that. What you miss? Miss not having the cell phones and yeah. you just go someplace because you know where your people going to be at. Like, you right. didn't have to call. You yeah, just knew you just there was showed like, up. They said, uh, this is this was our Instagram. It was it was an old, like, um, my picture, space. whatever. No, no, no. It basically said when you used to go outside and you seen like four or five or six bikes in somebody's lawn, oh, yeah. that's how you knew your wow. boys was. Like, that's how yeah. you knew. Oh, everybody over here? Or who been? Well, in I ain't have no lawn. One shoe. But, we you know, I used 21. to know where to go. Yeah. Well, now you just get on your app, right? The you app? Tell you. Oh, YouTube. I mean, not YouTube. Instagram. Instagram and all that. Well, I mean, that's go. I, we still go out. Like, I go out and just see what's, you know, where everybody at. Or they hit me up, you know. I just I like know. to go outside and just explore. Yeah, just explore. It's yeah. more like outside when you come in. When was the last time you just walked outside ass naked? Is, don't, we know. don't do that. That's that's kind of weird. I'm just saying. We're, <laughs> we're, that's uh, what we should do. What we don't do. We're, um, we don't do that. That's kind of weird. <laughs> we're um, just going outside and just trying stuff. And see, that's again, that's one thing I do like about you know our city, DC. It's so much to explore. Yeah, man. there's so like, much to see. So much to see. You know, come You're visit. In the hood. You know, we're ambassadors for DC. Um, you know, and uh, they always have a lot, a lot of nice community events music. that are free, live music. You can go to festivals. Last concerts. weekend, I went to the Botanical Gardens on Sunday. It was nice. Yeah. Homeless people are nice. Yeah, sure. I went to. Um, <laughs> I went out. Where was we at? We was out in Silver Spring. They got the festival out downtown Silver Spring. Yeah. Took my daughter. To I went to Baltimore to a free festival. It was a, it was a house music festival. You know they like the house out there in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. And um, I had a nice time. It was like the second annual. Always one. something to do. You here. dance the house music. Yeah. Tip. Yeah. I like here. house music. You dance anything. Right. I do. I like. I like. If you music. can groove, you can move. If you can move, <laughs> you can groove. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> we got the um, and you, you know, so you know, you got to get outside, and that's what I, I like to. I like to promote that man sometimes you gotta put your phone down i had you yeah. know really even this week man i don't know if no, nobody knows i only got three followers but i just put i just put my phone i wasn't as active in posting and all that because i just wanted to take a break it's like you always be on it um of course it's a lot we gotta do with the show and work and promote and all that but sometimes all that shit just is too much it's just like damn i just want to unplug you yeah gotta, you can go down a rabbit hole yeah, going, you, going on social media man yep, end up on porn hub and you know uh, <laughs> 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 you said rabbit hole. I'm just gonna keep, okay. keep going okay. on the hole. I'm just saying. Right. Yeah. But no, but <laughs> but um, no, like yeah, it's just sometimes you have to, un, you know, unplug. Unplug. I, I I do unplug. I I have to isolate. You do. I do, and it's not. I'm not depressed or anything like that. Sometimes I just need a time out. Yeah, you mental know? fog. Take a thirty second. Take a thirty second time out. Well, that's what you do. That's what yes. you call it. Yes. Oh. Y'all need timeouts sometimes. Who? I get my time out. Decompress. I get my time out. When you get your time out? Right before the retweet. Anyway. uh, I knew you was going to say something great. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, but you got to take your time out. You got to. Because look, man, it's like, again, it's, it's so much going on. There's so much going on that, you know, you have to make sure your mental is just, you know, hell, you like Exercise. to look at the sun, right? You sun glazing. Give them a little bit of that. Hey, I do a lot of things. 
Everybody do a lot. You ain't in the mic. He sunbathes. Son, yes. is it bathe or gaze? What you be doing? You can't. He did gaze talk about. Ro- he did now. talk about rocking, walking ass naked. So maybe he does. Uh, he, some maybe bathes. he walks Just outside. Be, I mean, ass we don't naked do that. We don't do that. Why we? Why no. can't we? Why can't we do that? Because they say we gotta no. have. Because you supposed illegal. to get. You supposed to get no, <laughs> sunburn. <laughs> That's a whole other conversation. <laughs> our our uh, ancestors did walk around. You know, getting the sun into your computer and re, you know, recalibrating, recharging. I need, did that yesterday, but I went to the beach to do that. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. What did y'all do yesterday? What's I yesterday? mean, for, for our day off, you know, from work, beach oh, day. Oh, yesterday was 4th of July? 4th of we July. Celebrated. I mean, you know, what I don't do? celebrate 4th of July, but I mean, you know, Independence Day. Watch the fireworks. But, um, oh, I did a lot. I had a nice time at the beach. What did y'all do? PLJ, what did you do? I watched the fireworks, and there was a drag race show that I also watched, and it was very entertaining. <laughs> nice. Where did you watch the fireworks? Uh, <clears throat> amongst the skies and hood neighborhoods. <laughs> okay, amongst the skies and the hoods. Normally, hoods. we have um, our cookout. We go home for that. I didn't get a chance to do that, but I spent some do? time um, to myself, actually. You had a time had- out. I had a timeout. I did. Have, then I had a time in because I had, had a, a timeout before the wee trot. Nah. Wee twat. Did you get rib sauce on your mouth? I don't, well, listen. <laughs> the person I was with might be watching this, so that wasn't a re twat. We're not gonna say that. But I mean, whoever was with me, know they would know it was with me. But you know, we chilling. So, um, yeah, you gotta just disengage. Oh, you know what I did? I went up to Baltimore. I was in Baltimore. Okay. Shout out to be more. Okay. I was up there. Shout um, out to Baltimore. And I don't get a chance. I don't get a chance to get up there as often as I'd like to. But um, I like Baltimore. Yeah, it's a different vibe. Yeah, I just wanted to do again. I figured the national high. It was kind of it threw us off, y'all, because um the the oh, rain. Yeah, the Remember, they do the um, they do the fireworks, fireworks there. Yeah. And, um, they had them in D.C. But I was I was hearing that they were going to get canceled because it was raining. It was so it was raining here in D.C. Guys, um so I was told that a lot of a lot of the fireworks were going to be actually today, mm. um. Because they was whatever they didn't want people all coming out in the storms and the rain and all that. Mm. So um, anyway, long story short, I went uh, went down into Baltimore. It was lit. They had the M&T Bank Stadium with the red, white, and blue all around it at night, and that's, that's yeah. nice. always a good look. And uh, purple. yeah, um, yep, that that's purple. That's what's up. That's what's had up. Had a little purple. Uh, no, but <laughs> uh, yeah, chilled it on out. I went way up to Ocean City. Oh, see, oh, that's where you was. Yeah, that was. It was my first yeah. time going out there. We saw those uh, top up picks that you talk about. Top up from the top. Yeah, it wasn't from the top. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we finally did. You came, came through. I your finally, promise. We finally put a got full that body picture on the body, ground. and we appreciate that. Let's give a hand for that chocolate. You're welcome. Such a chocolate that just. You're welcome for giving us that. Giving us all. <laughs> Randy Watkins giving us all that. You made a lot of people's days. So. You know, we appreciate it that. It was a beach day. You got to celebrate. Beach day. That's why you do a you know, full body out. pick on a beach day. A bad beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad beach. That's the new one. The bad beach. Hashtag bad Hashtag beach. Hashtag bad beach. Well, listen, y'all. Uh, listen, we ain't going to hold y'all too long. I know we know y'all getting ready for the club. Some of y'all about to get y'all time out on. Some of y'all about to check it out. Um, turn you know, up, turn up. It's time, to, it's time to rock with us again. Thank everybody for rocking with us. We got a lot of stuff coming up. This is the second finale because we're going to be coming back with season three. Season we don't want to tell y'all when, but season three is coming. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Y'all listen to the freshest, dopest new podcast here. I mean, you, can, you can't say it yourself, but we can say it confidently. When, you, when it's real, you can stand on it and say it. We know what it is. Um, again, Spotify, iHeartRadio, sponsorships, all that stuff. Come on. Special things, comedy, uh, Tiff in the swimsuit pics, everything. We got the <laughs> we got the purposeful moto swimsuit calendar coming to y'all. Swimsuit calendar <laughs> for the month of July. Yes, sir. We waited. Yay. Yes, sir. <laughs> we should do a swimsuit calendar, Tiff. I think that would be a good look. Cracks and backs. If I'm gonna get paid for it, sure. We can talk about that. We can discuss this. Pay your EBT. Rock us out. Rock us out, bees. Take us on out.